the Linux Programming Interface Summary, Chapter 2, Fundamentals. This is the kernel. Setting Input VM Linux, it controls the CPU, RAM, and storage. It loads running applications to RAM and tells the CPU to switch between them frequently. This is an application, a process. It has no idea where it actually lives in RAM. It doesn't know where are files on disk. It always asks the kernel for everything. Each process thinks that it owns the entire memory. But actually, the kernel gives them virtual memory to keep them separated, so they can't mess with each other. Their memory consists of text, aka code, aka instructions, data containing static variables, the heap, which is an extra, memory on demand, and finally, the stack storing functions data. Processes can duplicate themselves with the e fork or terminate themselves and start a new process with the exec v function. This is the root directory and everything starts from there. Everything in Linux is a file but with different content. Files, directories, devices, whatever. Directories, which are files pretending to be something special, contain just a table of file names and where to find them. Files have permissions. Read the content, write the content, execute the content. Directories, same permissions, different meaning. List what's inside, add or remove stuff. Access what's inside. Processes communicate with each other through signals, pipes, which are files, sockets, also files, and shared memory. Finally, the proc directory containing information about the kernel and processes. Like, share, and subscribe to unlock chapter 3.